Welcome to today's Day Trading Recap, Friday, October 22nd, uh, Green Day Today, plus 509. So let's go over these, and then I will come back and recap the week for you. Uh, on the Mighty 90s, took four trades, a winner in Baidu for 150, Microsoft 310, Roblox was a loser for 352, and then DKNG, basically a scratch for eight bucks. Uh, on the runners, Disney scratch minus 12, Roku plus 460, Amazon minus 460, and then a runner in the micro S&P for plus 405. So let's go with these. Uh, go to the mighty 90s first in Baidu. Uh, Baidu had this, uh, bounced off unchanged, had this big push up almost to the highs of day. A little pop in volume got short right here and just caught a little down move there for plus 150. Uh, Microsoft was plus 310. Let's take a look at Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft had this uh, flush uh, here uh, right there early in the morning. Got long right here and caught that bounce for plus 310. Roblox uh, was another mighty 90 that did not work out. This thing just did not want to come down. Even when the market was flushing, Roblox was holding strong. Had this big push right up to unchanged is where I got short right here, right here-ish. Uh, looking for a snapback, and this thing just kind of kept pushing, grinding, pushing, grinding. Pushed up here, I still held. Looked like it might roll over, and then just kind of grind, grind, grind. And finally, when it pushed up, I ended up cutting out there. Uh, as you can see, it basically flatlined the rest of the day. Um, DKNG was basically a scratch. Uh, so DKNG started, uh, it, was, it was really weak, and then um, kind of consolidated for a while, and then it started to flush again. Uh, got some volume spikes. I thought we were going to get a bounce off this pivot, uh, but when it pushed below, uh, I was just trying to scratch it. So when it bounced up here, I just I just cut out and took a scratch on that one. On to the runners, Disney. Dizzy Disney. So in Disney, I was, um, let's see, on Disney, oh yeah, runner. So it, it showed some initial weakness when it bounced up to this key level. Uh, I was looking to, I was looking to get short. It started to roll over. I got out of half my position here. And then uh, when it bounced up here, I just cut out of the last half. So I took a scratch on the trade. Uh, obviously had I held it, it did roll over, which was the name of the game on a couple stocks. I'll show you in Amazon as well. But first, uh, Roku. Roku is a nice winner. And in Roku, um, Oh yeah, Roku was the, my first trade of the day. So right out of the gate, had this big volume spike. So when it when it bounced here, actually I kind of got in before this bar closed, somewhere around here, and then this thing just flushed down and I got out pretty close. Uh, I think I got out at the end of this bar here. Uh, so nice trade there, nice quick trade for plus 460. Amazon was minus 460, so Amazon took it right away. And this was a frustrating one. We were talking about this in the community. I know Chad and some other people were in it as well, but Amazon had this big flush weakness, big spike in volume. So when it bounced back up to yesterday's low, I uh, got short. And I had, I had on these two dips here, I had over 15% profit, but I only did one contract because Amazon's so big and I didn't want to trade big size today. So uh, I was holding for more. I was looking for a flush like this, like this right here. But uh, when it started to push up right here, it literally squeezed me out right at the top, kind of broke above this consolidation area. It looked like it might bounce. So I got out right here. And what do you know happened? Whoosh, flushed right down like I thought it would. So it's kind of frustrating when you, when you do something and then it uh, squeezes you out right before it does what you thought it was going to do. But that's trading. Uh, and then lastly, S&P futures. So the S&Ps were... Um, you know, the market was just feeling really heavy and, you know, the NASDAQ was weaker, but uh, a lot of stocks were just really just weak. And so I was watching this. We watched the S&P push up to new highs and then immediately come down uh, as if it was just trying to sucker people in and then fall over. And so when it got back down into the red and bounced right here, I got short looking for a, a flush lower. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, so I scaled out, got out of my last one real close to the bottom here. So nice trade there, uh, for plus four Oh five. So net net plus five Oh nine on the day. And so if we take a look overall for the week, uh, on the runners plus six, 676, 
on 22 trades, a win rate a little over 54%. Uh, and then on the mighty 90s, a little bit in the red, didn't trade any on Monday, uh, 15 trades, 60% win rate, uh, but still slightly in the red. So that's my day. That's my week. Hope everybody has a good weekend. We'll be streaming live every day next week. Look forward to seeing you in the live stream room. Talk to you then.